Hello everyone, my name is Angelia Clara Davina and I'm from SMA Semesta Semarang. I'm going to introduce you to my project which is the effectiveness of pilantisnary as an alternative breast cancer treatment through molecular docking studies. Did you know that there are high cases of breast cancer? According to the Ministry of Health of Indonesia 2018, breast cancer ranks first in cancer cases with a relative frequency of 18.6%. Cancer can be caused due to the mutation in PIK3CA gene and overexpression in receptor tyrosine kinase. Breast cancer treatment nowadays have various side effects. This leads to the potency of calic acid in a that has an anti-proliferative effect on cancer cells without having a cytotoxic effect on normal cells. In this research, we use the in silico method to test the effectiveness of palantisnary in inhibiting the PIK3CA and receptor tyrosine kinase. From Dona et al. 2019, this research has several advantages including reducing the excessive use of tools and materials and reducing the initial research costs. As we can see here, there have been some previous breast cancer studies. According to Florkin 2022, a mutation in PIK3CA gene would cause dysregulation of different signaling pathways in memory gland epithelial cells. Based on Methi Bumo et al. 2019, overexpression and dysregulation of various receptor tyrosine kinase is very common in various types of cancer, including breast cancer, which causes receptor tyrosine kinase inhibition to become one of the main focuses in cancer treatment. As I said before, palantisinary contains gallic acid. Fermat et al. 2012 wrote that gallic acid regulates the phosphorylation of PI3K coded by PIK3CA which are responsible for cancer development. Referring to Muhammad et al. 2020, molecular docking is a method used to stimulate molecular interactions and predict binding affinity values as well as model interactions between ligands and receptors. In this research, the problem that we want to solve are how effective is palantisnary as an alternative medicine for breast cancer and what is the mechanism of action of palantisnary as an anti-breast cancer herb? And the purpose of this research are knowing the effectiveness of palantisnary as an alternative drug for breast cancer and knowing the mechanism of action of palantisnary as an anti-breast cancer. The research that used qualitative research approach was done at the biology laboratory in SMA Semesta in December 2022. The first thing that we need to do is to do target compound collection. We use PopCam to collect the compound that we need. And second, we use Uniprot to look for the active site residue. Next, we need to prepare the protein and ligand using Pyrex. In this stage, remove water and ligand from the protein. And the fourth stage, docking was run at Autodoc Vena program on Pyrex. And after running docking, we need to visualize the result using Discovery Studio Visualizer. And the last stage is making suggestion for the use of palantisnary in breast cancer therapy. We use the binding affinity number as a reference. And from the visualization, we observe if the gallic acid binds to the protein surface or on the active site. Based on this table, gallic acid only has one active ring, while imatinib has at least five active rings. As a result, the binding affinity number of gallic acid are much lower than those obtained from imatinib inhibition. However, with such a smaller molecule, the binding affinity number of gallic acid, which is negative 6.2, are much more effective than those obtained from imatinib. It is also amazing to find that there is a pi orbital in the binding of gallic acid. From this data, it can be said that gallic acid is effective enough to inhibit the performance of receptor tyrosine kinase so that the further signaling process in cancer can be stopped. PIK3CA binds to 4Q2 as control. The active ring of this control consists of three pieces while gallic acid only has one. Nevertheless, the binding affinity values of gallic acid and control are not much different, that is negative 5.5 for gallic acid. From this data, it can be said that gallic acid is effective enough to inhibit the performance of PIK3CA so that the further proliferation process on cancer cells can be inhibited. These are the results of the research. As we can see here, gallic acid tends to bind to the protein surface of receptor tyrosine kinase while it binds to the active site of PIK3CA. 
Therefore, we can conclude that palliative nursery should be given for cancer prevention along with other therapies. The conclusion that we can take from this research are palliative nursery is more effective for cancer prevention along with other therapies, and palliative nursery works by binding to the active site of PIK3CA to prevent cancer cell proliferation with a binding affinity number of negative 5.5, and by binding to the protein surface of receptor tyrosine kinase to inhibit cell signaling, which leads to the formation of cancer cell with a binding affinity number of negative 6.2. And some suggestions are, further research is needed to determine the optimal dose for the prevention and treatment of breast cancer using palantosinary and there is an opportunity for palantosinary to serve as an alternative to other cancer drugs so that research for other types of cancer can be carried out. Thank you for watching and see ya!